don't tell former FBI lawyer James Baker that those now infamous discussions about secretly recording President Trump and using the tapes to remove him from office were a joke. He apparently doesn't believe it, and he held quite the advantage point. He was on the inside of the Bureau's leadership in May 2017 when the discussions occurred. James Baker told Congress last week that his boss, then-acting FBI Director Andrew McCabe, was dead serious about the idea of recording the 45th president and using the evidence to make the case that Trump should be removed from office, according to my sources. Baker told lawmakers that he wasn't in the meeting McCabe had with Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein in which the subject came up, but he did have the first-hand conversations with McCabe and the FBI lawyer assigned to McCabe, Lisa Page, about the issue. As far as Baker was concerned, this was a real plan being discussed, said a source directly familiar with the congressional investigation. It was no laughing matter for the FBI. Word of Baker's testimony surfaced just days after Rosenstein was set to be interviewed in private on Thursday by the House Judiciary Committee lawmakers. Since the New York Times first reported the allegations, Rosenstein, the number two Department of Justice official, has tried to downplay his role in them. His office has suggested that he thought the discussions were just a joke and that Rosenstein never gave an order to actually carry out such a plot and that he does not believe Trump should be removed from office. But making those statements through a spokesperson is a bit different than having Rosenstein himself face Congress and answer questions directly under penalty of felony if lawmakers think he's lying. James Baker's accounts to lawmakers this month clearly complicates an already complicated picture for Rosenstein before Congress assuming he shows up for the Thursday's interview. But even more so, Baker's story lays bare an extraordinary conversation in which at least some senior FBI officials thought within their purview to try to capture the president on tape and then go to the president's own cabinet secretaries, hoping to persuade the senior leaders of the administration to remove the president from power. Even more extraordinary is the timing of such discussions. They occurred, according to Baker's account, in the window around the firing of FBI Director James Comey. Could it be that the leaders of a wounded, stunned FBI were seeking retribution for their boss's firing with a secret recording operation? We know James Comey took out his revenge by releasing, uh, leaking memos uh, to his friend to lead to, to the press. I doubt this is the power that Congress intended to be exercised when it created the FBI a century ago or the circumstances in which the authors of the 25th Amendment imagined a president's removal could be engineered. This wasn't a president who was inca incapacitated at the time. He was fully exercising his powers, but in a way the FBI leadership did not like. And that makes the FBI involvement in the tape record, then dump Trump conversations, overtly political, even if Rosenstein believed the whole idea was just a joke. Keep in mind, this is the same FBI that a few months earlier during the 2016 election had his top counterintelligence agent, Peter Strzok, talking to Page, his lover and top lawyer to McCabe, about using their official powers to stop Trump in the election and having an insurance policy against the GOP nominee. That insurance policy increasingly looks like an unverified dossier created by British intelligence operative Christopher Steele, a Trump hater himself that was bought and paid for by the Democratic Party and Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign through their mutual law firm. You walk away from the Baker interview with little doubt that the FBI leadership in that 2016-2017 time frame saw itself as far more than a neutral investigative agency, but actually as a force to stop Trump's election before it happened and then maybe reversing it after the election, election was over, said a source directly familiar with the, with the congressional investigation. James Baker provided some other valuable insights into his congressional interview. As I reported last week, he revealed that he accepted information in the Russia investigation from a lawyer from the Democratic National Committee. My sources also confirmed that Baker admitted that he received a version of the Steele dossier from a left-leaning reporter, David Korn of Mother Jones Magazine, and then forwarded it to Strzok's team. Korn says that occurred in November 2016, right after the election. That transaction is significant for two reasons. First, at the time, Steele had just been fired from the FBI probe for leaking to the media 
and he wasn't supposed to be further assisting the probe. So Korn essentially acted as a backdoor to allow information to continue to flow. Secondly, the FBI was using the news media as an investigative source outside the normal chain of evidence. Whatever you think of Rosenstein or the Russia probe, the statements Baker made to Congress have implications for all Americans, and all Americans should take this very seriously. Democrat, Republican, Independent, the ones you call communists, you know, the, you, you uh, Antifa people, uh, this is all very serious stuff. The FBI was created to investigate crimes and stop foreign intelligence and terrorism threats. It was never designed to be a broker in the political process of elections or the execution of the 25th Amendment or for creating and leading crimes and then coming down on those crimes. 